Smartphone games come in all shapes and sizes. Some are beautifully made and still never quite hit the mark, and some look like the handiwork of a 10 year old and still go viral. Recently, I came across one such iOS exclusive game called Trap Adventure 2. Sorry, Android users. Being someone who loves playing smartphone games, I checked it out and it looked incredibly boring from its listing. But oh boy, was I wrong. Hey guys, this is Akshay from bbomb.com and this is the frustrating, sad and honestly hilarious tale of my time playing Trap Adventures 2 and also how I almost chucked an iPhone 10 into the wall. Before we get started, how about you hit the bell icon so you get notified every time we post a new video, including ones like this one where you'll see me get noticeably annoyed at a damn game. Anyway, let's get started. I'll be honest with you, when I first installed the game, I was like, this looks like a rip-off of Mario but with graphics like that Prince of Persia game I played as a kid. I mean, I really wondered how this game could be annoying. So I launched it, I purchased the normal mode for the 80 rupees. It's playable for free but then there are ads and I don't want that. I sat down to play and so it began. I tested out the controls a bit and then I started on my journey through this pixel art world. Well, this looks simple. It's literally just three jumps. Easy peasy. Wait, what? Alright, alright, I know what to do. Jump over that trick block. Alright, and here we- Are you kidding me? Okay, let's think different. Ha, huh, not falling for that one. Wait, what? Oh my god, this thing is rigged. Try number 394. God damn it! I was already figuring out why people were calling this game the most cruel platformer ever. I mean, who in their right mind makes a game like this? If you're thinking level 1 was annoying, you have no idea what happens ahead. I mean, what the hell is going on? That stupid block needs to stay in its place. Look, I can tolerate trick games, but this is, this is just cruel. This is inhuman. This is, I'm running out of words to describe how terrifyingly annoying this game is. And yet I'm still playing it. It's weird, I know, I have way too much free time on my hands. Somehow, after thousands of attempts and almost chucking the iPhone at a wall, I managed to reach this weird, stupid level. Block? Ball game? What? There's no ball here. I finally figured out how to get the ball, but uh, this developer really hates everything good in this world. I finally passed that level and great, now I'm underwater. That's all I need. And why are there these random things coming out of the walls? Castle security? I'm not even kidding right now, this is just wrong. This whole game is meant to make us all go into a state of permanent frenzy. I mean, I finally get to the end of this water and the escape closes down. So I traverse that mess of a water body, I go up the pocket of air this time and it fills with water. And then there's the background music. I hate it. And the worst part is, it gets to you and then you find yourself randomly singing along while playing. Which especially annoyed Rupesh, so I guess there was an upside to all of that. This game gets progressively harder and harder. I mean, I don't think I can beat it. I got up to level 9 and believe me, that level will drive you nuts. I know you probably think I'm just saying it. After all, what can be more annoying than that water level we just passed, right? Turns out, another water level, with a submarine that for some reason keeps dropping bombs on its own. So not only do I have to save myself from the weird randomly popping obstacles, I also have to save myself from my very own submarine because it has gone into a self-destruct mode. Splendid. I honestly don't have a lot more to say now because this is as far as I was able to get. But hey, since you guys are having fun watching me struggle with this stupid game, here are some of the funniest things that happened. Also, I gave Sharun the game to play because why not? And I was glad to see he struggled way more than I did. I mean, it's been almost half an hour and he's stuck on level 2. 
Looks like I'm actually a pro at this annoying game. Anyway, I was able to stop myself from wasting all of my time playing this stupid game and also from destroying a very expensive phone while I was at it. Plus, I spent 80 bucks on a game that I'll never be able to finish. Great. But this game is addictive, I'll give it that. It's also very, very annoying. I mean, Flappy Bird does not hold a candle to this game. If you don't believe me, try it, I dare you. And then drop your thoughts in the comment section down below. Also, give this video a like and subscribe to our channel for more amazing tech videos. That's me signing off. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.